Greetings from Turkey. We are here on day three. I am Kimmy Briggs, the pastor of First Presbyterian Church in Lewistown, Montana. Today we got to spend the day with a ministry called Gates of Heaven, led by Forazan. She and her group are here um, coming from with leaders from um, the underground church in Iran and spending several days together equipping leaders. Um, and we got to come and be a part of their conference. Today included getting to hear from Melissa as she presented to us on the book of Philippians and how we find God in suffering and how we come together as the body of Christ in our suffering. We also got to hear the testimonies from several of these church leaders, as well as share our own testimonies um, as, as um, pastors and leaders within the church in the United States. It truly was a blessing of the day to hear and to share those stories. Our day then concluded um, with getting to hear from a group of women, um, sort of some of the key leaders um, coming out of um, these house churches and, and their experience of what it is to be um, women in Iran, what it is to be Christians in Iran. As I reflect on it, this day of seeing how God has been at work um, and is at work through this ministry of Gates of Heaven, I'm struck by the boldness and the courage of these leaders. I can't fathom what it would be to wonder each day if I'm going to be safe as I go about doing the work that God has called me to do. And yet that is precisely how these women, these men and women choose to live each and every day. They've chosen, they've made bold choices, some that their families don't support, some that have been rejected because of the faith that they have chosen. And yet day in and day out, they choose to go out to be on the streets, to find and to see the least of these, and to offer care, to offer love, to offer compassion. And they do it with great risk to their lives. And I wonder what we as the church in America, what I as a pastor in America continue to learn from this experience. And I'm not sure I have a perfect answer yet. I think this is something that I will continue to process for, for the days and, and weeks and months ahead. But I am struck by what it means to return home, to share these stories, to stand together with our brothers and our sisters in Iran as they live out the faith, as they live out their faith and truly believe in the resurrection, the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I only can hope that I too would have that kind of courage in my faith as I seek to reach our community, as I seek to share the good news of the gospel with Jesus Christ.